So hello and welcome to this Adobe Anime tutorial and in this tutorial I would like to show you uh, how you can get things from the library using JavaScript and how, how you can get multiple things from the library. And right now very quickly I will show you what we are going to be doing. Uh, so what we are going to do in this tutorial uh, may not seem that practical uh, but uh, if you just play with this you can use this and basically uh, every time that I am going to refresh uh, I am going to generate randomly a uh, few things from the library uh, like so and then what I can do is uh, I can click on all of them and uh, then I can, uh, when I click on all of them, I'm going to have this uh, U1. Uh, so, as I said, uh, this may seem a little bit silly, uh, but you can still learn a lot. So, yeah, this is what we are going to be doing. Uh, all right. Uh, so one thing that I want to say before we will start is that I am not a professional with the JavaScript. I'm just learning and I would like to share some stuff. Uh, so right now uh, I am going to choose some width and height and I will go maybe with 800 by 800 but you can choose whatever uh, width and height that you want. I want this to be HTML5 canvas and I'm going to hit uh, create. Uh, now I will just click anywhere, go to the properties and I'm going to change the color of the stage to maybe something like uh, this but you can go with whatever you want. And now I am going to get the rectangle tool and uh, I don't want to have a stroke color, I just want to have a fill and I'm going to draw something like this. Uh, now I'm going to convert this to the symbol, so I will click, I will go to the modify, uh, convert to symbol or F8 and I can call this symbol 1, that's fine and make sure that it is movie clip. Uh, now uh, I will go to the library and uh, maybe your library is going to be like so, so in that case you need to extend it a little bit and I'm going to have this symbol 1 and uh, I'm going to have this uh, possibility to put a linkage name, so I'm going to double click and I'm going to call this to be a uh, blue uh, shape for example. Uh, now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I will get rid of uh, this on the stage and I will just hit Control enter to see this in the browser and we are not going to have anything and if I'm going to click F12 to make sure that I don't have any error, uh, I, I don't have. Maybe you are going to have in here uh, some kind of error fail load, but then if you refresh it's going to, it's going to disappear. Alright, uh, so now I will go back to the Adobe Animate and in this layer 1 uh, I am going to right click and I'm going to choose actions and we can uh, start to write a code. So I'm going to uh, create a function uh, and I'm going to call it to be add blue or add blue shape or whatever. And then I'm going to uh, create parentheses, curvy parentheses and uh, we can start. Uh, one thing in, uh, in Adobe Animate uh, is uh, or generally that uh, when we are in the function we cannot write uh, something like this dot something but we will have to create a variable. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it let. Uh, root is going to be equal to this. I may uh, create a whole tutorial about this but uh, for now we are just going to have it like so. And now uh, I would like to uh, get this uh, from the library. So I can uh, type uh, for example root uh, add the child and we would like to add child uh, which is going to be new. Uh, lib as a library and uh, the name that I, have, that I have created so it's going to be blue shape like so and now what I can do is uh, I can just call the function so I'm going to call the function like so and now if I'm going to hit control enter uh, we are going to have the shape in here and it is going to be uh, in, this, uh, in this corner. Uh, now uh, I will go back to my code and by the way uh, that's why we have created this variable. I will just very quickly comment it out uh, and if I'm going to just type in here uh, this in the function this at child uh, this, is not going to, this is not going to be working and we are going to have an uh, error. Alright and if you, would, uh, if you would put this uh, uh, outside of the function like uh, so, uh, then it would be it would be working, but in the inside of the functions, it just doesn't work. So yeah. So let me put this uh, back in here, like so, and uh, make this variable uh, to be to be visible. And I'm going to put the uh, root in here, like so. Uh, now I'm going to create a variable, and I'm going to call it uh, let uh, my blue, for example, and it is going to be equal to this. Uh, new dot uh, lib as a library uh, but without the dot so new lib 
dot and uh, blue shape and then uh, instead of uh, writing in here root at child uh, this I'm just going to uh, put it like uh, like so and uh, this is going to do the same thing uh, now uh, I would like to I would like to position this and what I can do is uh, I can type that uh, uh, my blue uh, X is going to be for example 200 and uh, my uh, blue uh, dot uh, Y is going to be also 200 and uh, right now if I'm going to hit control enter it is going to position me this uh, in here like so and I will just very quickly show you that I can go to the view I can go to the rulers and uh, this is like the X axis and uh, if I'm going to have a ruler like so and I'm going to double click it is going to be minus 60 if I'm going to put it in here it's going to be like uh, 200 something and at the end uh, it's going to be like uh, 800 I'm not I'm not exactly on the, on the end but like so and uh, the Y position uh, is uh, like in here it's uh, almost zero and uh, in here at the bottom it's going to be almost 800 so uh, in here is uh, 0 X 0 Y in here is 800 X and, uh, and 800 Y <laughs> yeah hopefully makes sense and yeah I will put this away and by the way this double clicking uh, is not going to work if you are not going to have a selection tool if you are going to have a sub selection tool for example it's not going to be it's not going to be working uh, but yeah I will go back and I'm going to get rid of these rulers and uh, right now what I would like to do instead of putting it like so I would like to generate the random number between uh, 0 or, and 800 or we can generate the random number between 100 and 700 that depends on you uh, but yeah so uh, I'm going to put the link in the description uh, how you can generate the random numbers because I'm not going to explain this in this uh, in this tutorial uh, and I also created a tutorial so I can provide the link in the in, provide the link in the description but basically I'm going to type uh, let uh, x uh, position is going to be uh, like this position is going to be equal to uh, math dot uh, floor uh, math dot uh, random uh, like so and we are going to multiply this uh, by 800 and basically this is going to uh, create me a random number between 0 and 800 and as I said uh, I don't want to uh, explain this in this tutorial so I'm going to provide two links one on the W3 school and one which is going to be my tutorial and then uh, we are going to have a uh, led Y position and uh, led Y position is going to have the same math.floor math.random times 800 and I have 800 because my width and height are uh, 800 and now what I can do is I can type uh, my blue dot X is going to be uh, equal to X position like uh, so and then I can type that uh, my blue I will just copy this and I'm going to paste it and my blue uh, Y is going to be equal to Y position and now I'm going to hit control enter and it is going to be positioned somewhere and if I'm going to refresh it it is going to be positioned in other place and uh, so on okay uh, now I would like to create one thing and that's uh, uh, if I'm going to uh, uh, let me very quickly uh, get rid of all of this code so I'm going to comment out this one and I'm going to comment out this one and I will also comment uh, okay I do not need to comment more but uh, right now uh, it is going to be in here and it is going to have the axis 0 0 uh, in here so it, if I'm going to generate the random number which is going to be 800 and 800 it is going to have this corner in here and it's not going to be visible because it's going to be here all right so uh, one thing that uh, you can do uh, uh, for example is that I will uh, put this symbol uh, one to the stage and I'm going to uh, align it to the to the corner like so and now I'm going to uh, double click inside and I'm going to one more time align it uh, and I have this align to stage and I'm going to align it uh, to the center like so 
and uh, now I will go back to the scene one and I'm going to delete it and now what's going to happen is that it's uh, going to have a zero zero axis in the middle of the shape and if I'm going to have the 800 eight, uh, by 800 it's going to have the middle in here and it is going to be like uh, so. Hopefully it makes sense, if not uh, maybe this tutorial is uh, too much for you uh, then you can maybe go ahead and watch some uh, more beginner tutorials about this uh, uh, adding from the library. Uh, but yeah, now I'm going to uh, uncomment uh, this like so and uh, every time that I am going to refresh we are going to have this uh, on the on the different uh, position. Uh, now uh, I will go back to the code and what I can do is uh, I can go ahead and create uh, one more function uh, and this function is going to be function uh, mul multiple L like multiple elements or multiple shapes for example and parenthesis curvy parenthesis and in here I am going to create a for loop and one more time, I'm not going to explain all of this, so this is like a little bit more advanced. And uh, I'm going to have a for loop, so for let i is equal 0, uh, i is going to be smaller than, for example, 10, and then i++. plus plus. And uh, right now I'm going to put uh, this function at blue in here. And uh, this means that I have a function, in the function I have a for loop, and uh, the, it's basically means that uh, it will, I will start at uh, 0 up to 9 because it's like smaller than 10. So it is going to call this code, this uh, function, 10 times. And every time that I'm going to call this code, uh, I'm going to uh, get uh, uh, my shape from the library uh, uh, in here. And then I'm going to every time generate a different random number. And every time I'm going to position it on a different uh, position. So right now I will have to... Uh, call this function, so I'm just going to control uh, C this and control V and I'm going to hit control enter and right now we are going to have them like so. Uh, if you would like to uh, position them so they are not overlapping, uh, that would be like <laughs> a little bit more complex and it's not for this tutorial. Uh, so for, for now it is going to just uh, appear randomly uh, like uh, like so on the, on the stage. Uh, one thing is that uh, right now uh, I have this as a uh, 10, I can go ahead and make uh, change this to maybe 5 and right now I'm going to generate only 5 of these shapes and uh, so on and uh, yeah. Uh, I will just uh, very quickly show you but this is something that you do not need to do is that uh, I can put a parameter in here so multiple shapes and I can call it for example num times like how many times or you can choose whatever the name and instead of writing five I'm going to put in here num times and then I'm going when I'm going to call these multiple shapes I'm going to put an uh, argument in here uh, it's like when it's in here it's called parameter well when you are when you are calling it it's called argument but uh, that's <laughs> that doesn't matter and uh, if I'm going to right now write in here for example number three it will be passed in here as a number three so it will be in here number three and we are going to generate uh, three of them and if I'm going to uh, put like uh, 20 of them uh, then we are going to have uh, 20 of them uh, but yeah I just wanted to show you but I'm not going to over uh, make this too complex so I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to get rid of this and I'm just going to put this uh, as uh, 10 like uh, like so and we are going to have it like uh, like this uh, now uh, these uh, shapes uh, I can't do uh, anything with them uh, so what I would do uh, to make them uh, clickable and to click them and make them disappear is that at the beginning I'm going to create a uh, uh, array and I'm going to call it const uh, my shapes for example and it is going to be equal to an uh, empty array and uh, you can make go with the let or you can go with const I already created a tutorial about this topic so yeah you can search it on the channel if you want so const my shapes and it is going to be an empty array and then what I'm going to do is in, the, in this function add blue, I am going to uh, type my shapes dot uh, push and I'm going to push in here uh, this uh, my blue. All right. Uh, so 
every time that we are going to generate this my blue, uh, we are going to position it uh, and uh, then I'm going to uh, push it uh, to this array. And basically when you are going to push something to array, it means that it is going to add this uh, element uh, to this, uh, to this uh, array to the end of the array. Uh, but yeah, and uh, now what I can do is uh, uh, when I'm going to uh, run this code, uh, multiple shapes, it is going to call this function uh, 10 times. Uh, so it means that uh, we are going to generate uh, 10 times the shape and we are going to uh, push to this my shapes 10 elements. And now I can go ahead and with the very simple for loop, you could uh, also use for each if you know it, uh, but I will go with for loop. So I'm going to type uh, for uh, let i is going to be equal to zero. Uh, i is going to be smaller than uh, my shapes dot length, but I will just copy it uh, my shapes dot uh, length and then uh, i plus plus. And let me know if the comments maybe if uh, you like this type of tutorial or you would like to have something more for the beginners or maybe something a little bit more advanced. But yeah. And now uh, I'm going to uh, type that uh, my uh, shapes uh, i. Uh, add the event uh, listener or you can just uh, instead of add even listener I will just cut it uh, type uh, on but I will go with add even listener they will work the same and we want to have an even listener of uh, click uh, then comma and in here we can uh, either call some function and then make the function in the for loop or we can just create an anon anonymous function so I'm just going to type uh, function uh, parenthesis and uh, curvy parenthesis like so. So uh, we have this uh, for loop uh, which uh, starts in here and ends in here. Then we have this uh, even listener my shapes i. So we are going to have an even listener on all of the shapes which are in the array my shapes i. Uh, we are going to have a click event and then we are going to have this anonymous function. And uh, in this function what I can right now do is uh, write that my shapes uh, i visible is going to be equal to false. And basically uh, what, I, what this does is that right now every time that I click on the shape, uh, that uh, shape is going to disappear like, uh, like so. Uh, all right. And, uh, and yeah, and as I said, I can't just uh, explain all of the stuff in this tutorial or I could, but it would be like too long. So this is, this is like so. Uh, now uh, I would like to do something with that when I'm going to uh, click on all of the all of the shapes. So I can create a variable uh, uh, outside of this for loop and I'm going to call it to be a let uh, score is going to be equal to zero. And uh, in here I'm going to type that every time that I will click on the shape, the shape is going to uh, have a visibility of false and I'm going to type score plus plus. And then I'm going to type in condition that if uh, score score is equal to my shape's length, uh, if the shape's length is going to be nine elements, it means that we are going to click on the nine elements. So the score is going to be nine. So if score is equal to my shape's dot uh, length, uh, then first of all, I can just type uh, console.log. Uh, you won. All right. And I'm going to hit control enter. I'm going to open my console and I'm going to click. And uh, if I'm going to click on the last one, I'm going to have this console.log you, you won. Okay. And uh, instead of uh, console.logging this, uh, maybe what I can do is I'm going to create a new layer. And uh, on this new layer, I'm just going to uh, draw uh, some text. Uh, so I am going to just uh, go ahead and uh, choose some color and I'm going to type in here uh, you uh, one like so and I can make this little bit a uh, little bit bigger but let me go one more time with uh, with shift and now uh, I'm going to convert this to the symbol so f8 symbol 2 is fine and uh, I can call this to be uh, you uh, one for example. And what, what we are going to do is uh, at the beginning, we are going to hide this. So I'm going to type uh, this 
u1 uh, visible is going to be false and then I am going to copy this and uh, when this condition is going to needs happen <laughs> uh, I can uh, console.log this and I am going to make this uh, this u1 visible uh, is true but I will have to go with the root because we are in the uh, in the function so uh, root u1 visible is going to be equal to true and right now I will hit control enter and uh, if I'm going to click on all of them and let me open my console also and I will click like so and uh, right now I'm going to have this uh, u1 uh, so yeah, <laughs> uh, this is it. Uh, I just wanted to uh, show you uh, something like this and uh, I'm still figuring out a little bit the things in the Adobe Animate and uh, later on I can maybe create some tutorials which are going to be like more practical or uh, I don't know but uh, for now I wanted to show you something like this and maybe if you can with this information uh, create something uh, new, some kind of game or whatever that, that would be great. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is it. If you have watched until the end, uh, you can write it in the comment. And yeah, uh, hopefully I will see you in some other tutorials in the future. Thank you. Goodbye.